It's time for Panda Talk. Go, Mike. Talk about the panda. So basically, I just want to say that I really like this story about Xiaomei. And, you know, I thought it was really touching and interesting that Xiaomei has a di- had a disease that made him that made her small. And, and, and I think it's really weird that she can float, you know, when she's, you know, uh, in necessary times. But that's okay, because she's a little panda. And I also think that this show does something really well with characters, you know, even small bit characters that just show up and, and just disappear in that very same episode. And the panda, you know, is just proof that there's no, no character is too small to receive the full Metal Alchemist character treatment. And uh, that's all I would like to say about that. Damn it. I, I just... mean, it really got me. It didn't get me. Really? So, <laughs> no. It felt like a parody of a backstory. Like if somebody was doing a parody of an anime and they were I like, know, but... you know how everyone has a backstory? What if a panda had a sad backstory? somebody back just spent like 10 minutes I mean... defending, giving <laughs> someone the first name King. I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> okay, listen. <laughs> That's different, though. (laughs) Xiaomei is interesting in the sense that this show has so many just, like, achingly beautiful backstories, as you said. In screenwriting, we're always taught that if you possibly can, you should cut characters and combine characters. And this show is just like, fuck that. We're going to give you a cast of, like, 60 and we're going to make sure that you care about every single one. Yeah, and even the tiny panda. <laughs> I don't care about the panda. I care about the panda. Really? You're a monster? Mm. No, you're I'm not. You're just a monster I, it's then. It's the panda. No, but what That's do you like mean? That's like saying you don't First care about all, the cat. <laughs> what cat? Not a literal Good cat. Pun. That has been panda talk. <laughs> no, no, no. We're still in panda talk. We're still in panda talk. We're still in this. We're still in this. <laughs> I just, I tried to end it. You know, just let the record show. Okay, keep going. It's a fucking panda. I'm sorry. Call me a monster. Do you like, do you like hate pandas in particular? No, I just think that at some point it goes from being actually emotional to being ridiculous. When you have like a two minute flashback for a panda and the reveal is that the panda was small and so made shot. Like, they do everything think it... together. They fight together. They sleep together. Care. The panda is like, is like her owl. <laughs> She learned to fight with That's the panda. That's actually diminishing to Al, that you're diminishing his role to the same as <laughs> a panda. Adorable thing. I, yeah. I don't think like... it's diminishing to be like, this is a parallel. We're not saying yeah. it's the same character. We're saying it's a parallel. And more than that, even, the purpose of the panda backstory is to show us why May will particularly care about Scar and his whole situation and why Scar will care about May's. Wait, the reason why May is going to care about Scar has nothing to do with the panda. It has to do with their status as the, as like members of clans that have been either totally. erased or about to be erased. Like if you need a panda to make me connect with I wouldn't it, be it, shocked if that panda is is part of some greater alka historical plot. I'm just going to ignore that in showing <laughs> us um the panda and that whole backstory they needed to have a character other than may to symbolize where she came from and to show that she has connections and that she's fighting for something i'm not the biggest fan of may in general but i think that giving her a strong bond with something is smart and makes me care about her more yes um, that's what i want to that say. is what the, i was trying to say look, basically I'm therefore gonna, I'm gonna, okay here's it always a thing. had to be a panda there was no other choice I can't believe we're actually comparing it to Avatar again. But I feel like the reason why Avatar got to do a whole episode about Appa is because not only does he have a purpose to be in the team, he is their method of transportation. He has an emotional position within the team where he is the last connection that Aang has to his culture. And so when Appa goes away, we initially feel bad for Aang because we're like, oh no, Aang just lost his dearest companion. And then when we have that episode about Appa, we already have that connection with Appa through Aang to be developed into a connection with Appa. Sure, but that's a totally I false I, comparison. I don't think, but I yeah, think that's a point. That's, 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 that's my exact point. Xiao Mei is not like an essential part of the team. Xiao Mei is not it's like. Not. Shou, no, it's, it's, it's not. not. That's, why, that's why I'm saying that this whole scene. I wasn't going to get into this, but. If you want to argue thematics, mm-hmm. I do. It's the smallest, weakest panda. It has a disease that makes it small and weak. May is a small girl from the smallest, weakest tribe that's going to go extinct if she doesn't save it. 
Like, it's parallels. It's she sees herself in the panda, the panda sees itself in her. That's a good parallel. I don't need two minutes of a a sappy flashback. They both will bite you. Showing me the panda carrying a a pail of hay. I don't need that two minutes. I could have. I mean, that was pretty impressive, though, right? I don't think it's trying to be anything more than it is, which is. Like a cute little sidekick to May that she cares about. Look, we're just, I'm just gonna put an end to a panda talk because I don't agree with that. And then I think we're we're not gonna spend a, <laughs> the whole episode <laughs> talking about this goddamn panda. I Look, think this has been a, this has been a an intense tumultuous episode of panda talk. Oh, oh, yeah, thank you, <laughs> thank you for coming. It should be noted that I think it's unanimous that more the pod, of course, endorses and supports this character. Yes, play the song. <laughs> <laughs> Now we know the thing to say when we need to check if it's Michelle. Yeah, seriously. I fucking hate this panda. <laughs> such a bizarre wait, wait, choice. Wait, before we can wait, keep talking wait, wait, about wait, wait, it. Wait, 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 the music. Bring for it, bring panda talk for one second. I just want to say, like, Michelle made some really good points, though. And he has me thinking a little bit about this panda. He made some really good points when he compared it to Appa. And, I, I you know, like, he had some legitimately true things. Like, you, you could, could the have panda said be that better? before I said, cut the... <laughs> <laughs> could the panda... And I think the answer is unequivocally, no. Narratively, it had to be the panda from the very beginning. Look, we're all friends here. are ultimately correct. I want to preface this whole thing. Uh, content warning. We all get very angry about this panda, but we secretly love each other.